Mecca is guides. <laughs> hey everyone, Maka here playing Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Zombies, and in this video I'm going to show you how to pet that dog. Doing this will allow you to spawn a friendly hellhound, which will follow you around as a companion. It will grab kills for you and take aggro away from zombies, which is extremely useful if you're a solo player. Additionally, doing this will unlock an achievement or trophy for petting a hellhound in MWZ. Now, if you played previous instances of zombies, you may think that the way to do this is through the brain rot ammo type, but that is not correct. Now, the first step in this process is to acquire a chunk of flesh, which is a completely random drop as you kill a enemy zombie and you'll find it on the ground as a blue item. Make sure you pick it up and don't accidentally sell it at one of the buy stations. Because it is a random drop, you wanna increase the amount of zombies you kill to be as many as possible. A good strategy for this is to go to an exfil site, call for the exfil, and then don't actually leave. When the exfil is going on, it'll spawn a ton of enemies, and for each one you kill, there's a chance you'll find a chunk of flesh. You can even find two, three, four, or five at a time, and you can just stack them and carry them all around with you. In fact, I would highly recommend getting at least two before going to the next step. Using this strategy, we were able to spawn a chunk of flesh every five minutes or so. Now, the next thing you wanna do is you wanna be able to find a dog house on the map. There are a couple of different ways to do this, but reliably, I would just get in a vehicle, drive that vehicle to points of interest, and wait until one shows up on your minimap. We were able to spawn about seven or eight different dog houses, and it seemed like there was absolutely no pattern as to where they would show up next. The only pattern being that they are usually in a point of interest. If there do happen to be permanent locations of the dog houses, I will pin a YouTube comment with an image of the map where you can find them. I'll do a quick zoom in so you can see the exact icon that you're looking for. Now you may get very lucky and find one within a matter of minutes, or you may get very unlucky and it might take you the entire game to find one. But once you do find one and you have that chunk of flesh, go up to the doghouse and then interact with it in order to give the dog the chunk of flesh. We found that two chunks of flesh was a reliable amount to give in order to get something to spawn, but people have reported that one was enough. Before doing this, I would also highly recommend clearing the entire area of enemies. If you give flesh to the doghouse and nothing happens, you can always go and find more flesh and then come back to deposit it. If done correctly though, the doghouse will explode and it will provide you with a friendly hellhound that will follow you around for pretty much the rest of the mission. The only unfortunate part is that it seems like there is a little bit of random chance in regards to whether or not that friendly dog will allow you to pet them. The dog that spawns will randomly be assigned a name and it seems like only certain dog names allow themselves to be pet. For example, in this video, you saw that we spawned Biscuit who was not interested in being pet, but Flouncy was. Also, don't forget that all of your co-op partners can get in on the action and unlock the achievement or trophy for themselves. This dog companion will now follow you around for the rest of the mission, taking aggro and even damaging zombies. You will lose it when you do things like parachute off of something tall or hop in a vehicle, but it should just respawn very quickly out of the ground once you're back on foot. Thanks for watching. Drop a like, share the video with a friend. Special thanks to everyone on Patreon for supporting the show, and I'll see you soon. Peace.